What's up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about the High Republic. Well, uh, there is a source that claims that Luke Skywalker damaged the High Republic's launch. Uh, and at the same time, if the source is true, you know, I'm going to read a little paragraph here from this article on princess uh, and prince pirates and princesses. And it's saying, uh, ex just hear me out. Sources tell me that Lucasfilm story group that has being heavily involved in the development of the high republic is frustrated for several reasons first the review of luke skywalker in the finale of the mandalorian second season took all the oxygen out of the high republic who cares about the high republic if they're all wondering what happens with luke skywalker and his new pod one grogu baby yoda <laughs> worse i am told that they are furious because they weren't informed about luke skywalker being the season send-off surprise the people work on High Republic had no idea that Favreau and Filoni would be driving the fan base into hyperdrive just before they launched a new sub-property that is significantly different. Uh, and then later he continues, the really twist, the dagger individuals at Lucasfilm are angry because not only did Pablo Hidalgo's situation blow up in their faces, but then celebrities began thanking John Favreau, Dave Filoni and Mark Hamill. To them, this is a betrayal of Kathleen Kennedy, who originally put Favreau and Filoni for The Mandalorian. Nobody's thanking uh, Kathleen Kennedy for The Mandalorian or Luke, and nobody's thanking the story group for anything. Okay, so if this source is uh, correct, and the story group that worked in the High Republic is really mad at the success of The Mandalorian, it, it really shows that there is a divide in there. And not only that, it really shows that these people do not care or understand for Star Wars. They just want to use Star Wars as a platform to worry about their own uh, ideologies. And I just believe that is the biggest problem in storytelling. People could always relate to Luke Skywalker because of his uh, struggles, you know. That was a character that was the face, has been the face of Star Wars for so many years. Why would a story group that works for Lucasfilm have a problem with that? I, it just blows my mind and it really shows the problems that we had in the sequels. You know, J.J. Abrams himself said many times, at least two or three interviews that I, I remember reading, in which uh, people ask him about Luke Skywalker and he said, oh, every time Luke Skywalker was in the scene, he would overshadow other characters, so we kept writing him off the script. And then comes the Mandalorian and really shows Lucasfilm, this is how it's done. This is the way. Okay, you don't have to tarnish what came before in order to introduce the new. We fell madly in love with Baby Yoda. And at the same time, Luke Skywalker was there being awesome and amazing. And not only that, Baby Yoda is handed over to Luke Skywalker himself. So do I believe that Luke Skywalker would overshadow the High Republic? Well, if the High Republic didn't look so weird, perhaps not. The problem with the High Republic, in my opinion, even though we have reviews, some people liked it, but the majority of people are saying it feels weird, it looks weird. Not only that, there are certain things they're not even respecting the lore of Star Wars. Uh, for instance, there is uh, someone questioned one of the writers about the lightsaber. There is a scene in which someone is using a lightsaber to, I don't know, cut through a tree, but the way that, it, it, the way that this was written just shows that uh, people don't even understand how a lightsaber works. It's a lightsaber, you're supposed to cut through things. You can't just hang on to it. I don't know. So here's the picture of the scene. Uh, however, however, I must say that when the, this specific writer was addressed about this, he owned up for his mistake. He said, yes, that one I'll take on the chin. If I could go back and do that page again, I'd suggest she grabs the needle of rock once she's used the saber to slow her, putting my fix-it hat on. Uh, you could suggest that she increase the density of uh, the blade's containment field in a uh, similar way to those EU sabers, where you could adjust the length of the blade, but I doubt it would take her weight for so long. Unless, of course, she was using the force. Anyways, thanks for getting in touch. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the issue. Now, this is a great response for someone that worked in the High Republic uh, because if they acknowledge they messed it up the lore because people understand this thing. We've been seeing and watching lightsabers for how long? We understand that it cuts through things. How can you just put it somewhere, like it would just slide over completely, it doesn't make any sense. So when someone just questions him and he gives a response that is just fair, 
I'll take that into consideration going forward. I mean, this is a great way to go. Perhaps some of them are learning. However, on the other hand, we also have Justina Arland, right? Uh, completely saying here that the, uh, she said on a tweet, people were talking about, someone asked her a question about politics, something like that, and she said, the problem is if you don't like my politics and my beliefs and my moral compass, you aren't going to like my books, so let's just go ahead and save everyone some time. So here we have a, a, a group, right, that obviously we, you still have someone that was polite to the fans, but then on the other hand, you have Pablo Hidalgo making fun of the people that loved Luke Skywalker, you know, they were crying, and then you have Justina talking about her own politics. However, the problem with her tweet, in my opinion, is the fact that she's not really concerned about telling a Star Wars story, continue the mythology, working about relatable themes or universal themes. That's what Star Wars was always about. There was politics in, of course there was politics, but it was not all about politics. It was about this, these universal themes that every single person in the world can relate to, you know. But when you're, you're taking all of that out, out of the picture and you just are concerned about nowadays politics and my politics, this is a selfish way for you to write storytelling, you know. And I think that's why they failed. That's why they made so many mistakes with the sequels. They created so many token characters because of their own politics that they completely destroyed the storytelling process. They, store, they destroyed the hero's journey. They didn't even know how to write their own characters. They were so concerned about, oh, female rules, female rules. And they completely tarnished Rey. I mean, Rey is not a likable character in comparison to Luke Skywalker. She's not even that memorable because they handed things to her. They did not give her any uh, struggles. And you just make people angry with characters like this, especially when it comes to a, a, a universe that had been established for so long. We understand that Jedi had always to, to train in order to... to do the stuff that they can do but then comes ray that she's doing all these things without even being introduced to the force and they don't even know how to explain it not only that they bring palpatine but it's just one mess after the other and it, it really shows us that the people and if you i don't know if i mentioned in this video but the the story group involved in the sequels the same people involved in the high republic and go figure why are people not even why are people more uh, excited for the Mandalorian than they are for the High Republic. I guess that is the problem, is that these people that are writing these stories, they are not really concerned about writing Star Wars stories. They are concerned about their own politics and their own stuff that is just... Ugh. Listen, I, I am just... Uh, it blows my mind that, you know, if Kathleen Kennedy does not see the difference, why do people love the Mandalorian but they don't really love the High Republic? If she can't figure it out, <laughs> there is no hope for these people, you know? I mean, you look at the Mandalorian, you have all these strong female characters, uh, and you have, you know, diversity, you have all these things that they wanted to, to, to put in the sequel trilogy, but it's the difference that in the Mandalorian it is written well. You know, you look at the female characters, and you understand that they are strong because it's not just given to them. There is a transition for them to get there. You know, all of them are trained. You have a sniper, you have someone that is a marshal because she's a great fighter. If, I don't understand why they can't really figure that out, you know? Why they don't understand that you don't need to destroy what came before. The problem is that uh, at the end of the day, I firmly believe that these people, they are not really Star Wars fans. Uh, they, I can't really believe these people are Star Wars fans if they thought what they did at uh, The Last Jedi was okay. You know, if they really thought, oh, we're just going to take a dump on all these original characters and here are the new characters and people are just accepted. I, it, it just blows my mind. And I just wanted to say that even within the High Republic's own story group, you can see that some people are being very uh, kind of humble towards the fan and even say, yes, that was wrong and I'm taking that into consideration, which is something that really changed even the, the audience pers perspective, you know, like if this is how the creator talks to the fandom, yes, I should have, uh, I probably would have done this differently. It means that they are acknowledging the criticism. They're not just calling whoever said that names which is the problem that Pablo Hidalgo uh, fell on. You know, he was in so many, how many times he was on Twitter attacking fans and saying 
nasty things. And then you have Justina just, oh yes, my politics is my important in storytelling. <laughs> people don't look for entertainment for that. That's not the reason why people go and watch uh, fantasy shows. You know, Star Wars is supposed to be something that takes you out of the everyday struggles. It still deals with universal themes. You can still address politics like the way George Lucas did. But it shouldn't be about that, and it shouldn't be about you. It should be about the lore and what works for the universe. But anyways, guys, I just think that it's very interesting to follow all of this uh, controversy surrounding the High Republic. No, like I said, there are some people that are, are enjoying it, and that's fine. There are some people that are not enjoying it. That's also fine. As long as, as people do not have a problem talking about it or expressing their opinions, and as long as people are not being called names when they say, we don't like this, you know, I think when you are creating entertainment, you need to listen to your fans. You need to hear the criticism. I'm not talking about the hateful people because hate are going. We're going to find hate in all spectrums. Okay, you're going to have hate uh, on people that hate the sequels. You're going to have people that hate the prequels. You're going to have people that hate Star Wars in general. Uh, hate is always there, but that cannot be the excuse for all these people that work at Lucasfilm to call the fandom names and not only that generalize the fandom you know they need to listen to criticism they need to listen to what people are saying i'm happy that at least one person within the high republic uh, story group was able to acknowledge that anyways guys that is the end of my video do you think that the high republic was overshadowed by luke skywalker i mean i just believe that you can't compare the mandalorian with the high republic because they look very different one really feels like star wars and not only that one is a tv show the other one is a series of books uh and uh but i don't know drop a comment down below let me know what you think and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe for more and see you next time